Welcome back to our computer hackers. In today's video, we will discuss a crucial topic for developers and testers, securing web applications. With the increasing prevalence of cyber threats and data breaches, it has become more important than ever to prioritize security in web development. In this video, we will outline the top 10 best practices that developers and testers should follow to ensure the security of their web applications. So let's dive right in. EGM into one, input validation. The first best practice is input validation. It is essential to validate and sanitize all user inputs to prevent malicious data from entering your application. By implementing server-side and client-side validation, you can protect your web application from common attacks like SQL injection, cross-site scripting, XSS, and cross-site request forgery, CSRF. Tester perspective. As a tester, it's crucial to perform thorough testing of input validation. Check for different types of inputs, special characters, and boundary values to ensure the application handles them correctly. Pay special attention to any error messages displayed to users, as they should not reveal sensitive information about the application's infrastructure. CGGMint2 Authentication and Authorization The second best practice is authentication and authorization. Implementing a robust authentication mechanism is vital to verify the identity of users accessing your web application. Use strong password policies, enforce multi-factor authentication MFA, and protect sensitive information by encrypting it. Additionally, ensure proper authorization controls are in place to restrict access to specific resources and functionalities based on user roles and privileges. Tester Perspective Test various scenarios related to authentication and authorization, such as login attempts with invalid credentials, password reset functionality, and unauthorized access attempts. Also, check for any vulnerabilities in session management, like session fixation or session hijacking. Properly test role-based access control, RBAC, to ensure that users can only perform actions they are authorized for. ATGMENT3 Secure Communication The third best practice is to secure communication between clients and servers. Use secure protocols such as HTTPS to encrypt data transmitted over the network. Implementing Transport Layer Security TLS, certificates ensures that communication remains confidential and protects against eavesdropping and data tampering. Tester Perspective As a tester, ensure that all communications happen over secure channels. Test the application for any vulnerabilities related to SSL-TLS, such as weak cipher suites, certificate validity, and proper handling of certificate errors. Perform network sniffing tests to validate the encryption and integrity of data in transit. SEGMENT4 Session Management The fourth best practice is proper session management. Sessions play a crucial role in web applications, so it's important to implement secure session handling techniques. Use random, unique session IDs, set proper session expiration times, and regenerate session IDs upon authentication. This helps prevent session fixation and session hijacking attacks. Tester Perspective Test the session management mechanism thoroughly by checking session expiration, session fixation vulnerabilities, and session ID randomness. Also, test the application's behavior when a session is invalidated or expired, ensuring that it gracefully handles such scenarios. SEGMENT5 ERROR Hand Dealing and Do Logging the fifth best practice is effective error handling and logging. Proper error handling is essential to prevent the disclosure of sensitive information to attackers. Ensure that error messages displayed to users are generic and don't reveal details about the application's internals. Implement comprehensive logging mechanisms to capture and monitor application events for troubleshooting and security analysis. Test your perspective. Test the application for various error conditions and exceptions, ensuring that the appropriate error messages are displayed. Additionally, verify that sensitive information is not leaked through error messages. Validate the application's logging capabilities by checking if all relevant events and actions are properly logged. This will help in detecting and investigating security incidents. ACGMENT6 Data Validation and the SSNITIZATION 
The sixth best practice is data validation and sanitization. It is crucial to validate and sanitize all data before it is processed or stored in the application's database. This helps prevent attacks like SQL injection, command injection, and cross-site scripting. Use parameterized queries or prepared statements to prevent SQL injection, and sanitize user input to mitigate the risk of cross-site scripting attacks. Test your perspective. As a tester, validate the application's data validation mechanisms by testing various inputs, including special characters, SQL statements, and malicious scripts. Ensure that the application rejects or sanitizes inputs appropriately, preventing any form of injection attacks. Test different data types and boundary values to ensure the application handles them correctly. SEGMNT7, Security Patches, and DUPDATEs. The seventh best practice is to stay updated with security patches and updates. Regularly monitor and apply security patches for the frameworks, libraries, and dependencies used in your web application. Keeping your software components up to date helps address known vulnerabilities and reduces the risk of exploitation. Test your perspective. Test the application after applying security patches and updates to ensure that they have been successfully implemented and haven't introduced any new issues. Additionally, perform vulnerability scanning and penetration testing to identify any existing vulnerabilities that need to be addressed. GSEGMNT8 Access Control The eighth best practice is to implement robust access control mechanisms. Enforce the principle of least privilege by granting users the minimal permissions necessary to perform their tasks. Avoid using default or weak credentials and regularly review and revoke unnecessary privileges. Test your perspective. Test the application for access control vulnerabilities by attempting unauthorized access to restricted resources or performing actions that should be restricted to certain user roles. Verify that access control rules are properly enforced throughout the application, including API endpoints and administrative functionalities. ATGMNT9 Security Testing The ninth best practice is to incorporate security testing into your development and testing processes. Perform regular security assessments, vulnerability scanning, and penetration testing to identify and address potential security flaws and weaknesses in your web application. Test your perspective. As a tester, focus on security testing techniques such as penetration testing, security scanning, and threat modeling. Utilize tools and frameworks designed for security testing and stay updated with the latest security vulnerabilities and attack vectors. Collaborate with developers to address identified security issues effectively. SEGMNT10 Continuous Monitoring the tenth and final best practice is continuous monitoring. Implement mechanisms to monitor your web application's security posture continuously. Use Intrusion Detection Systems IDS, Security Information and Event Management CIEM, tools and log analysis to detect and respond to security incidents promptly. Test your perspective. Continuously monitor the application for any signs of security breaches or suspicious activities. Analyze logs, monitor system and network traffic, and use security monitoring tools to detect any anomalies or security incidents. Work closely with the development team to address and mitigate any identified risks. Con collusion. Securing your web applications should be a top priority for developers and testers alike. By following these 10 best practices, input validation, authentication and authorization, secure communication, session management, error handling and logging, data validation and sanitization, security patches and updates, access control, security testing, and continuous monitoring. You can significantly enhance the security of your web applications.